Good morning. This is the 20th day of the Hebrew month of Av. The Yort site, the day of remembrance of the great sage, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak Schneerson of blessed memory, who passed on 65 years ago. He was the father of the Lubavitcher Rebbe and was a remarkable person of great character and self-sacrifice. And so it's appropriate to talk about consoling those who lose a loved one and understanding the consequences of what happens when the person dies. The first thing that happens with the per when a person dies is that the soul is removed and separated from the body. And the soul sometimes knows where it's going, sometimes doesn't know where it's going. According to the, the Zohar, the souls find their way to the site of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to the patriarchs. And it is known that in people, among people who have had near-death experiences, the first people that they see are the loved ones that they have. Parents, grandparents, siblings, those who are from their family come to greet the soul as it leaves. Sometimes the soul has still work to do and consequently either the soul comes back, that's for those who have had the near-death experiences, they must come back and complete their life or see to it that someone else completes their task for them. So the first thing about the death of the righteous, the death of a person, is that the soul is removed from the body and therefore we don't have the same communication as we did before. We're lacking what we had and as a result of that, we are saddened and grieved and we mourn. The next phase and the next part of the reaction to someone's death, especially the death of the righteous, is that because we have a connection with that soul, that soul stirs within us the desire to get better. And we begin to appreciate what that person was about and we begin to do things in accordance to the way that that person used to live by. And so we go ahead and we start learning more Torah and we give more tzedakah and we try to be happier people. We try to be more giving and more understanding. And that's the level of inspiration that a person is supposed to take upon the death of the, the righteous or of a loved one. Life is short, but instead of thinking negative thoughts and painful thoughts, one must arouse oneself to begin to do better things, to begin to be a better person. And finally, the ultimate level, which is the Hasidic and the Kabbalistic level of understanding the death of the righteous, is that the death of the righteous is not really death at all. Of course, we believe that the soul that's departed goes to the Garden of Eden, but the truly righteous never leave us completely. And in fact, the Zohar states, Sadik alma, alma that this righteous person who has departed from us is found in all the worlds more so even than when he was alive. That the effect of the righteous person is even greater after his or her death than while the person was alive. And that this tzaddik, he is with every person who will go in his path and try to do the things that he was involved with, he will go ahead and help that person do those things. And so, you should know that when we have a Yorit site, or when we have 
the Shiva period. When we have the period of mourning, the departed is with us, helping us doing what it is that we're supposed to be doing. And therefore, the person must take heart. After all, we only live a certain number of years. We only have that much time to accomplish what we need to accomplish. It's time now to do what we need to do. Rebbe Levi Yitzhak Schneerson was not afraid of the communist government. And he studied Torah and he taught the Torah and he fulfilled the commandments, notwithstanding the fact that there were other places in this world where he could have gone, where he could have lived in peace, could have written his books and taught students. He chose, however, to fight the communists, to fight the anti-religious mob who try to uproot and uproot it for the most part. Yiddishkeit, Jewish life in Russia that had been there for a thousand years, he fought against them successfully because he was so successful in influencing people. That's why he was arrested and subsequently died early. But we have to learn from him not to be intimidated by our surroundings and also, very important, to remain in our surroundings, to remain where we are and transform the place where we are into a holy place. There are people who try to go away from where they are to a more religious environment, where there are holier people, and so on and so forth, and they leave a hole, because in the place where they are, there's no one that takes their place. And the role of the tzaddik, the true tzaddik, is to make wherever he or she is into a place of Torah. That is the lesson of Rabbi Leib Yitzhak Schneerson, that wherever he was, no matter where it was in the world, he made that place into a place of Torah holiness. And after he died, he is all over the world helping those people who will go in his ways and bring Yiddishkeit to whichever place they might be, and not to be affected by the surroundings, and not to lose heart, and not to lose one's smile and enthusiasm.